enabling and disabling GPIO peripheral clock. In this lecture, let's explore about how to enable and disable the GPIO peripheral clock. To be able to work with GPIO or any other peripheral, you have to first enable the peripheral clock. In STM32F4XX based microcontroller, the clocks for the peripherals will be enabled in the RCC register which stands for Reset and Clock Control. This register handles enabling and disabling clocks for various peripherals. Remember that GPIO port is also a peripheral and it is connected to HB1 bus. Let me take you to the data sheet again and show it to you. Here you can see that GPIO ports are connected to the HB1 bus which can run at maximum of 168 MHz. The frequency of operation of HB1 bus is also called as H clock. So the peripheral clock of the GPIO port is derived from the HB1 bus clock. In our case, HB1 will run at 16 megahertz because we are using the internal RC oscillator of 16 megahertz as the system clock. By default, the peripheral clock of almost all peripherals are disabled to save the power. So it's important to enable the clock before configuring and using any peripheral. To enable the clock for any GPIO port, browse through the RCC section to locate the RCC underscore HB1 ENR. As the name indicates, it enables or disables clocks for the peripherals which are connected to HB1 bus. If your peripheral is connected to HB2 bus, then you need to refer the register RCC underscore HB2 ENR to enable or disable the clock. As you can see here, you can use this register to configure the clock for the GPIO port A to GPIO port I. 